President Petro Poroshenko has confirmed Ukraine is pulling heavy weaponry from the front line after days of relative calm. He warns, though, that Russia's military is a long-term threat to Ukraine and that its soldiers are prepared to fight if militants violate the latest Minsk ceasefire deal. His remarks during a tour of Kiev's National Defense University came hours before Ukraine's military announced three servicemen had been killed over the preceding 24 hours, denting hopes peace will be maintained. Even under the most optimistic scenario in the Donbass, even in the case of a long truce which might transform into a political solution and a stable peace, the military threat in the east unfortunately remains urgent and will need constant efforts to strengthen the defence capability of the country. But could the latest lull in fighting be the calm before the storm? Ukraine's military says there's evidence militants, backed by regular Russian units, are regrouping and could be preparing for an assault on the coastal city of Mariupol, a city needed by insurgents to make a viable breakaway republic. The information you wrote. According to the intelligence data, under the cover of withdrawal of heavy weapons, Russian terrorist groups are conducting actions on redeployment and rotation, strengthening of defensive lines, build-up of forces and strengthening of positions for intelligence operations near the front line. Convoys of Ukrainian military trucks and tanks flying the Ukrainian flag are pulling back towards Artemivsk, a government-controlled town some 30 kilometers away from Debaltseva. Observers from Europe's OSCE monitoring organization take notes of the military equipment parked at the side of the road. They say the time span of their operation is not possible to estimate just yet. Uh, no, we don't know how long it's going to take. We cannot speculate at this moment, but uh, we are here since the morning. Uh, we are ready to stay if it takes longer, and uh, we hope to see more uh, withdrawal of weapons in the following days as well. The soldiers sit, waiting at the side of the road, hopeful for the future. We hope that the war will be over soon, that everybody will live in peace and everything will be fine for everybody.